Hey, this is Jay with Sacred Gaming, bringing you a full and complete guide on how to get the Kvostov, the new exotic primary weapon. So, I'm going to assume that you do not have the weapon schematic. Don't worry, you don't have to delete a character and start over to get that weapon, that first weapon that you got, so you can dismantle it. If you have that, if you've kept that, you can dismantle it and get the weapon schematic that way. If not, you want to spawn into the Plague Lands and follow the route that I'm heading right here. It's just the route to the right into this second building that you come to. So, I'm going to try to show you as much detail as I can so that you don't get lost and you can just follow along straight with me. I'm going to actually repeat some stuff. I spliced in some video, but it should show you the exact routes that you need to head and I'm going to show you them in full detail. I'm not going to speed anything up, uh, but I will put in timestamps in the video description. If you look underneath this video, if you know where you're going and everything like that, I will put in those timestamps so that you can skip ahead. Otherwise, I wanted to try and be as thorough as possible so i also want to give a shout out to my man taboo lexicon you're going to see him in clips here he was the one actually showing me where to go and everything like that so just follow this path though we're going to head in like i said we're getting the weapon schematic in this first part and you just want to follow this route now we're heading out into the rocket yard and you should be a year one players you should be familiar with this area right here this is the rocket yard so you want to head straight and then to the left we're going to head to the divide and we'll show you where we're going right here. So as soon as you get in the rocket yard, you wanna head a little bit straight, but then veer off to the left-hand side and then head straight out here. I know some people are gonna be trying to play this and watch the video at the same time. There's a load screen that should look very familiar. If you're a year one player, year two player, this should all look very familiar to you over here. So once you get to the divide though, head on to this left area. Sometimes you had kill missions where you had to kill a target and you'd have to come in this area. This is the area that you wanna to come to. All right. So once you get in here, there's only one way that you can go. Really easy to follow. And just wanna head over here to the left and then make another left. And you can just run through all of this stuff. You don't have to fight it. You can fight it if you want to, but you can just run through all this stuff and just keep heading. There's really only one direction, like I said, that you can go through. All right, run past these shanks. And then we're gonna come out into a clearing. Now, as soon as you get into this area, you know you're going well, but you wanna head all the way down to the right in the top left. I'm gonna zoom in right there. That's where you wanna head to right there. So, and then as soon as I get there, I'm gonna switch over to another video that I actually shot with my man, Taboo Lexicon. If you're not familiar with him, check out my video description. He was my guide to getting this weapon, showed me where all the weapon parts were and everything like that. So, head on up here. Now, you might need a splicer Intel relay key. You get that randomly in the plague lands by killing a brood hive mother hive mother something like that uh, the hive just kill a bunch of hive stuff and they'll drop those things so put it in there that's what it looks like those splicer intel relay key right there it's a consumable and then you just want to head through here and we were fighting our way through here looking for stuff looking for ghosts and everything like that but there's only basically one way you can go. I could scoot, uh, scoot this video ahead, but I just want to show you everything. That way you don't miss anything or anything like that. Or uh, Sometimes when I skip ahead, people get upset. But we want to head straight behind me, straight down that path, all the way to the Kel ship. So there's the Kel ship in the distance. That's the catch right there, right? <laughs> yep, that is the catch. And we're going to head straight on here. Now, um, sometimes people were saying that you needed that Spicer Intel Relay Key and then you'd have to fight a Servitor once you get on this Kel ship in order to unlock this. I just didn't have to do that. So I'm not sure if you need a Spicer Intel Key or just the regular uh, key to get through there, but I just figured I'd put that out there just for you to know because you're not going to see any Servitor once we get into this area. But the chest that you need to do get to is all the way straight ahead and to the right-hand side on the lower level, right back there. All right, so you just want to kill everything in this room, though, and then we'll go pick up that key. So we killed everything. Oh, like I said, is. it's back here to the back right, right there. There's the box you need to open up, collect the loot, and there you get the schematic. Now, you're going to take that schematic back to Felwinter's Peak and talk to Shiro, and he's going to actually give you the quest. Remember, though, if you have the year when you first create a character and get that very first weapon, you can dismantle it, and you can start the process right here. All right, so now uh, we're going to need weapon parts. 
So this is spawning in right from the plague lands. Remember this path. Now this is the same exact video that I showed um, for where the first part. And so I'm not going to talk, but just head on over here to this right hand side and we're heading back to the divide area. So I'll pick up the conversation when we get to that divide area. All right, so this is coming back into the divide area and we're heading to the refinery. So you want to head just to the right hand side. If you remember the CPIX mission, you are going into this building. So this is the area you want to go into for the first weapon part. All right, so I'm back to my video with Taboo. He's showing me yeah, where to go. You can just run through this. You could actually just run through all this stuff. I think we fought through it. Um, and as we're heading back here, let me know what you guys are thinking about Rise of Iron. Are you having a good time playing with it? I'm wondering if there's going to be enough to keep my interest for very long. I'm really looking forward to the raid, but man, I'm leveling up really slow right now. I'm only at uh, 350, and uh, if you want to level up fast, it's all about, it seems like, those Vanguard packages, faction packages, and everything like that, because when you are decrypting there's stuff, it seems like it only decrypts like one stairs. level higher or about the same level. So just head on to this area. This is the room that you used to have to hold when you're doing the CPIX mission. <clears throat> and you want to head over to the straight ahead right there and then to the left. Yeah, there's, a lot of bad guys. there's my G-horn that I got. I'm so glad to get the year 3 G-horn back. That is so cool. I'm going to do another video on that. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more awesome Destiny videos. But uh, this is the area where you're going to find the first weapon part. It's over here right to the right hand side where Taboo is standing right there. All right, so there's part one. Now, for part two, you just want to continue heading the same direction that you're heading to the walker tank area, if you're familiar with that. So uh, I'm just going to keep heading just so you can get, I'll show you where I'm going, just so you can get a lay of the land. But just come around this area. You have to fight, to, fight through some more bad guys. <clears throat> I think I was trying to get some sticky grenade kills for a bounty. All right. And then, uh, like I said, this is the walker tank area that you're heading to. And if you notice, you're picking up manual pages. You, you get manual pages. Uh, you need 10 of those. You need three weapon parts and 10 manual pages just by killing yeah, things in the plague lands. They'll randomly the drop for you. So the uh, actual weapon part is on the other side of this building. You have to be careful, though, because there is a tank over uh, behind me or to my right, right out there, that will be shooting at you this whole time. So there is the third or the second weapon part. Oh God, For the third one, we're gonna head straight like back tank. through the area. So it's straight back um, to my right and to the right again, straight back that way. So you're gonna go back into the building though. That's right. And we'll show you where to go for the third and final weapon part. Hopefully this guide is helping you out. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions on how I can make these better, feel free to let me know that. I'm always up for some constructive criticism. And uh, like I said, I apologize if you're the person that's watching through this whole thing and you uh, know where to go and you just want to see where to go. Remember, you can check out the video description to find timestamps to those locations there. But we're just heading back the way we came. Just want to show you all this because I know some people like to watch these videos while they're actually doing it. And they hate when people speed ahead and they hate when people skip through things. So, following through, don't go through this way. Head up the stairs. Maybe you could go through that way, I don't know. But head up through these stairs. Same way you're coming. We're going to be e exiting the refinery into 
um, the rocky yard. If I can jump, probably would have been faster on a sparrow. What do you think about the G-horn, the Galler horn, or Yellow horn sparrow? I love the horn. It drives some of my friends nuts, but I love that that horn. That is awesome. All right, so here's the rocket yard. All right, so we're gonna head through here. Um, we're going back to the divide, and then we're gonna go into that building. All right, so <clears throat> you should be getting familiar with this route now. It's like the third time we've had to gone through here. There's gonna be a loading screen coming up here. There's a loading screen. All right, and then uh, we're gonna head straight back. Now, before we turn to left, right after this building, we're gonna head straight back though this time. And this is gonna be where the third and final part is. <clears throat> All right, so head into this building. I'm skipping to my other video with Mr. Taboo Lexicon. Gets off his sparrow for some reason. And I'm the old man, man. He's taking forever. No, just kidding. But just head on through here. Uh, if you're new to my channel too, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe. I have uh, a lot of Destiny content going on, and I try to be as clean as possible. I don't swear or anything like that in my videos because my son plays with me sometimes, and my son watches my videos. And I know there's kids watching these videos, but the weapon parts is in this room right over there, I think. Uh, but we'll show you where it's at. So I try to keep my content really clean though, so that uh, it's safe to watch right with the whole here. entire family. Oh, I'm sorry, straight dead, straight under these you. stairs, I'm sorry. Uh, but you'll see that little marker. All right, so that's the yeah. third weapon part. Now, it's just a matter of getting the pages and killing everything until you, you get still, those you get 10 pages, yeah, pages and then you can go um, back and you'll get an indicator for the final mission. Okay, we just gotta kill crap until it drops. All right, so kill crap until it drops. Remember, you need 10 pages, like I said. There is my final page. Now, once you get this, you're gonna go back to Felwinter's Peak, yep. talk to Shiro, Sweet. and he's gonna give you a Let's mission called a Kvostov Rising, a Kvostov Rising. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the end of that mission. Bring somebody with you. All I did right, this with Taboo, good. and it was rough. This guy has a ton of health and does not die uh, very easily, even with the G-Horn. And let me know if you have the G horn or the black G horn as well. But uh, we did this once with me and him, and it took a while. Just have to be methodical and really uh, combine your attacks well. We did it with three people, and it was a Appreciate lot stuff. easier. So here is the end of that mission, though. I'm out of heavy. Taking on this guy, trying to fry him with my warlock. <clears throat> and he's going to actually drop the Kvostov, and there it is. That's how you get it. So this weapon is pretty cool though. Hey. I'm sure you guys already know this, but uh, I think I may have mentioned this in the beginning, but this weapon, I um, mean, you go back to Hero to complete the quest. I don't know why you go back here. You don't get anything that I notice when you, when you bring it back. But this weapon is really cool because it can be fired in both full auto as an assault rifle, also as a pulse rifle, as you're gonna see right here, full auto pulse rifle, burst fire, or semi-auto. And I really like it in semi-auto. But you can see the gun firing in full auto. I don't have any clips of anything else. But uh, that is weapon. If you uh, pick it up, uh, I would really appreciate it if you use this guide, giving me a thanks and a like. That would just help me out. But like I said, hope this video helps you out. That's where I'm going to end my commentary, man. Hope you guys are having an awesome time with Rise of Iron. As always, though, take care and God bless.